on one dark night on Lac Saint Pierre, the wind she blow, 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 and the crew of the wood scow Julie Plant got scared and run below. For the wind she blow like hurricane, by and by she blow some more, and the scow was up on Lac Saint Pierre, one arpin from the shore. The captain walk on the front deck, and walk the hind deck too. He called the crew from up the hall. He called the cook also. The cook, she's name was Rosie. She come from Montreal, was chambermaid on lumber barge on the Grand Lacin Canal. The wind she blew from north, east, west, and the south wind she blew too. When Rosie cry, Mon cher captain, mon cher, what I shall do? The captain throw the big anchor, but still the scow she drift. The crew he can't pass on the shore because he lost his skiff. The night was dark, like one black cat. The wave run high and fast when the captain take the rosy girl and tie her to the mass. Then he also take the life preserve and jump off on the lake and say, Goodbye, my rosy dear, I go drown for your sake. Next morning, very early, half past two, three, four, the captain, scow, and the poor rosy was corpses on the shore. For the wind, she blow like hurricane. By and by, she blow some more, and the scow was up on Lac Saint Pierre, one alpen from the shore. Now, all you good wood scow sailor man, take warning by that storm, and go and marry some nice French girl. And live on one big farm. For the wind can blow like hurricane. And suppose she blow some more. You can't get drowned on Lac Saint Pierre. So long you stay on shore.